From the NBC26 Precision Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Today was the fourth straight day with below normal high temperatures. Tomorrow will be day number five and then another big warm up. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Highs tomorrow will be close to 30. It looks like mid to upper 30s on Thursday and Friday, 40s over the weekend and then some 50s as we head into Monday and Tuesday. And speaking of warm weather so far this year, as of today, is the warmest year on record and records go back to 1886. It certainly wasn't warm this morning. Take a look at these low temperatures down to three degrees below zero in Lakewood in northern Oconto County. We had six in Kashina, 10 in New London, and the low temperature in Green Bay this morning bottomed out at 11 degrees. Right now we are looking at upper 20s to lower 30s across the area. 28 degrees in Sturgeon Bay. We've got 28 in Appleton, 29 in Oshkosh, and it's currently 32 degrees in Wapaka. Lots of sunshine this morning and then partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies for the rest of the afternoon and early evening. We have clouds right now across the entire area. You can see those clouds covering much of east central and northeast Wisconsin. Those clouds are developing along and ahead of a cold front, which is now moving in from the west. And with the cold front, we've got the clouds and we've also got just a little bit of snow. It's in the form of snow showers and flurries here stretching from near La Crosse up towards Marquette, Michigan. This activity is all pushing off towards the east. So yeah, there's a chance for a couple of snow showers or flurries as that cold front works through later on tonight. Behind the cold front by tomorrow morning, look for abundant sunshine. High pressure builds in from the west throughout the day. That means mostly sunny skies across the western Great Lakes. Temperatures tomorrow will be about a degree or two cooler than what we saw today. Look for a high of 24 in Langlade, right around 27 in Wittenberg. We can expect 28 in Pensaki, but into Pier, 30. Kimberly will also be 30. Oakfield will be 31 degrees. The warm spot tomorrow will be in Green Lake County in Princeton, where the high will be right around freezing. Overall, quiet weather the rest of the work week. The jet stream is going to be lifting to the north. And as that happens, starting on Thursday, Warmer weather will start to surge in from the south and west. In fact, as we head into this weekend, also Monday and Tuesday, temperatures will be running 10 to 20 degrees above normal for this time of year. Could be looking at our warmest December temperatures in over a decade. So your forecast for tonight calls for clouds with maybe a flurry or a snow shower and then clearing later on tonight. Overnight lows will be around 20. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, still below freezing for those highs. Look for upper 20s to lower 30s across much of the viewing area. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 30 degrees. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to the new community shelter in Green Bay. And we did that today. I forecast a high of 31 and the actual high was 31 degrees. If I can hit the high tomorrow, the total donation will reach $25,000 for all of the charities here in Northeast Wisconsin. We've been working with since the three degree guarantee started about a year and a few months ago. <laughs> Thursday, look for sunshine giving way to increasing clouds, warmer upper 30s, maybe some drizzle, light snow or light rain on Friday, mid 30s, windy and warmer on Saturday, a chance for some showers, upper 40s. Could be looking at some areas of fog as we move through the weekend as well, upper 40s, mid 50s on Monday with windy conditions and some showers, lower to mid 50s Tuesday morning. By Tuesday afternoon behind a cold front, temperatures will be dropping back down into the 40s and then the 30s. With the temperatures going up like that, though, it looks like we might make that record, huh? The warmest year ever. <laughs> yeah, we're certainly on track right now, and it looks like uh, much of next week will be above normal as well. All right, sounds good. Well, it's the holiday season, and the lights are shining in neighborhoods all over our viewing area. And some have gone all out to decorate their homes this year. These pictures were taken in Green Bay and as Schwab.